Thank you very much, Harsh. So on behalf of Vicky, may I also join in welcoming Srimati Nirmala Sitaraman amongst us. I don't think that I really need to introduce her, except to say that, which Harsh has already said, that with her intellect and diligence, she is today in charge of two very important uh, aspects of Indian industry, that's trade, and as I put the industry ministry, if I'm allowed to use the word investment, and I think both trade and investment go hand in hand, and each one is interdependent on each other, and we are really happy that you, ma'am, are today steering uh, what I call the flagship program of the government, which is Make in India, and uh, we do hope that under your stewardship, this program will get the due Philip and that Indian industry will also respond in building investments in the country in a time of uncertainty. This morning we had the Honorable Finance Minister with us and I think uh, if I'm allowed to borrow from what he said is that this is a time of extreme uncertainty and there have been global events which have been totally unexpected. One, of course, is the election of Donald Trump as the President of the United States, the unexpected vote on Brexit, the unexpected votes of the peace deal in Colombia, the referendum in Italy, and all these, I think, are portents of a phenomena which really nobody truly understands and as to what kind of impact it will have on the global and on the Indian economy. So ma'am, from you, I think uh, what we would love to know is what would you like to take on as your policy initiatives? One, to see whether we can turn these uncertainties into advantages for India, both in terms of investment as well as in terms of trade. Now let me specify uh, we all know that uh, the stand of the newly elected president uh, of the United States on trade is rather ambiguous. And he talks about uh, the U.S. not engaging fully in the, uh, the Trans-Pacific uh, TPP agreement. To my mind, this does uh, throw up some opportunities for India because of our own negotiating stance in the RCEP in the regional uh, trade agreement which we are talking about certainly gets strengthened if the US is no longer a part of the TPP. So with these two points on how uh, we can build on these uncertainties for the advantage of India and also what your views are on the global trade architecture after the, these events, we'd love to hear from you ma'am. With these words I'd like to welcome you amongst Vicky and would request you to please address us. <laughs> 